Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with a skillless barb hut deck. In this variation, we're actually going to have Royal Hogs as our primary win condition. We have Fireball and Poison Bait with the Royal Hogs, Musketeer, and Fly Machine. You also have Zap and Log Bait with the Bats and Goblin Gang. I love this deck because it's pretty easy to play. It's pretty relaxing to just drop the barb hut in the back. It's a pretty noob friendly deck. Check it out for 12 win grand challenges or hit it up on the ladder. And let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. I'm going to go Goblin Gang in the back here. We're going to see what's up. This guy's going to go for a Lava Hound. Okay, brother, we're going to rush off his lane on you. Can't let you do that. Not about that life of letting you Lava Hound up. You have to drop a ton of Elixir on defense here. You're dropping Guards. You're dropping Barb Barrel. That's already five Elixir casted, my man. So I want to go for a Barb Barrel of my own on defense here. Wipe out those Guards. And we'll see what he's going to do. If he Baby Dragons, that could be a little bit rough. But he's going to go in for a Miner. So I want to kill that with Bats as soon as possible. He could go in for a Spell. And that would also be rough, but the bats will be able to swiftly eliminate the puffs along with the musketeer that one-shots the puffs. So we're chilling right now. We're doing okay. I'm vibing here. I'm going to go in for a goblin gang again and see if he bar barrels. We'll see. Doesn't do it. He goes in for a baby dragon, which is a hefty elixir investment. I think the barb put is probably the wave. So then the barbs take the beating from the baby dragon, the belches of justice. And then I'm able to finish it off with the towers chipping away on the baby D. The Baby D is the hardest card for me to deal with in this deck because it kills bats so quickly. The Inferno Dragon doesn't do anything for him really, unless it gets on top of the Fly Machine or Musketeer, which generally doesn't really happen. He could poison this Muskie. We'll see though. I want those barbs to get on top of that Tombstone as soon as possible, so we're going to wait for that. Okay, so the barbs are here. I actually don't want to go for Royal Hogs just yet. I'm going to go Barb Barrel on top of the Tombstone. I want the Tombstone to die. I'm also going to go Bats here. He's going to Baby Dragon soon. I can feel it. Yep. I want to kill everything really soon. So then I can go in for Royal Hog Split. Applying Aggression both sides. So then he has to decide, yo, do I want even want to defend the left-hand side? And the answer is no. He does not want to defend that side at all. So we get a ton of free damage. I think the Muskie might have been an overcommitment though on our end. We get a Poison out of him. So that's okay, I guess. And clean up everything else. I'm going to go Goblin Gang here. High Bar Pot. Lava Hound should go towards that, right? And since he Baby Dragons and that Tombstone should die, I kind of want to go for Royal Hog's left hand lane. Maybe bait out of poison. If he does that, then we're really chilling. Lava Hound does not go to it. Okay, yeah, it does. I was really, like, really weirded out by that. I was like, yo, I specifically dropped it because I need to draw everything. There's no other option. Poison comes down. I go for Bats right on top of the Inferno Dragon, making sure that thing does not lock on me because I don't really like losing the game. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like when Inferno Dragons don't lock up my tower. It can't lock on my tower. Don't like that one bit. Get out of sight, out of mind, Inferno Dragon. You're not invited to this party. This Barbarian party is just me, myself, and I. Alright, so Inferno Dragon's still there. Baby Dragon is baited out. Phenomenal stuff for us. Gonna go for another high bar pot. Baby Dragon's out of cycle, so that means I can easily go in for another Royal Hog. So that's what you want to do. If you bait out the Baby Dragon, they have no answer to the bats. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna poison you? Because that's kind of what they have to do. You have to poison the bats, brother. You can't let those bats on their tower. You can't do it. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. Drops a ton of elixir there. Which is also very good for me. We go for another musky. That bar putt placement is absolute fire. I'm not going to lie. That's so good for me. I can also fly machine and then have it go in the opposite side. I was a little bit scared of him spamming a little bit more, so I just poisoned. <laughs> I feel like that probably wasn't the best play, but we'll, we'll chill with it. We'll vibe with it. I'm going to go goblin gang here. Probably should have poisoned on offense. I really thought he was going to spam a little bit more than that. I don't know why. I guess I'm just so used to playing spammers, guys. He is Baby Dragon so we can go for bats. As I spam, I say I'm so used to playing against spammers, right? He's playing really well. I'm kind of playing sloppy towards the end, but you guys uh, probably get the point of the matchup here. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs. I'm going to poison the Tombstone, and then we should win the game. Is he going to Baby Dragon? Yeah, he does. Okay. Yeah, that's GG. So, that needs one more hit, then I poison him out for uh, here on out, boys. He realizes that, so I just go in for the barb hut. 
going for the bar barrel and just make sure that he has to spend a lot of elixir on defense. And if he does that, then he gets poisoned out and it's really sad for him then. Yeah, look at all that elixir he just spent on defense on the left-hand side because he can't sustain any damage. Poison comes through. Bats are chipping away on the pups. The pups just don't do so well against the uh, bats at all. GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Very good player. And uh, yeah, I showcased how to win that matchup. Just have to use that bar putt and the high placement to pull the lava hound, and you're chilling then. All right, we're going to go for a bar putt to kick things off, and this guy's going to go for a bandit. Unfortunately, that bandit will get right on top of the bar putt, but fortunately, it's not on top of my tower. So, you know, we're going to do uh, glass half full mentality here and say, fortunately, that didn't go towards my tower. So the barbs will be able to kill that. That lumberjack will die, which is good. Now I'm going to end up going in for real hogs here, get some value, get some hits. It's going to go in Inferno Dragon. Obviously, that's not so great at killing royal hogs. So we should get a lot of tower damage, guys. That's what's good. That's what's up. I'm going to go bats in the back. And maybe we can bait out a spell. We'll see. See if he has zap or something. He has ice golem. Okay. Interesting. The Inferno Dragon is not going to accomplish too much for him in this matchup. Unless he gets it on top of a flying machine or musketeer. Because it does win in that matchup. Ooh, yikes. That should break through. I think that gets a hit on my tower. That's crazy that I bar barreled and also had the musketeer locked on it and it still got a hit. That's not going to do too much. So we're chilling. He did just spend a ton of elixir, so I feel like going for real hogs here is great. He shouldn't have anything for the bats. The bats should be able to kill that unless he goes in for a nice golem. You know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go bar putt. Yep, he went ice golem. Now I can go bats for free on top of the Inferno Dragon and kill it. Oh, he had Snowball all along, guys. He uh, is a certified savage. So I was unaware of that. I was unaware of this man's sorcery. You know the funny thing? His clan is Barbarian Party, and it most certainly is a Barbarian Party. I have the Bar Putt. I have the Bar Barrel. He also has Bar Barrel. Aww. It would have been more funny if he ended up having the... Like bad ram, because then it would have spawned barbarians instead of the ram rider. It would have been the ultimate meme that way. Unfortunately, he didn't really want to play along with that one. It's not about that life, boys. Bar putt slightly out of range of the poison. Great for us. Should die now, hopefully. Come on, ram rider. Don't. Okay, cool. I was going to say, don't stay alive. We don't want you. We don't want you in this game anymore. I feel like that's a little bit too savage to say. Maybe I should uh, not say that. <laughs> but goodbye, Ram Rider. I'm going to go for a musky right on top. And we should be chilling. I should be able to go in for a Barbarian Barrel and then go in for the Bats. Showing him what the real Barbarian Party is like here. I'm pretty sure he doesn't enjoy this Barbarian Party. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be in his clan anymore after this. He's like, yo, I brought it upon myself. I'm literally playing against this Barb Hunt hero. <laughs> He's like, probably so mad. I mean, I would be. All right, I'm going to go Fly Machine in the back here. Goblin Gang as well. He poisons so I can get away with the Musketeer. Bar Barrel. Bats. The Bats are the main thing, dude. They just wreck. They force, like, Snowballs that he doesn't want to drop. That Snowball gave him no value. He actually missed everything. It was already dead before he did it. I kind of want to just poison this because I feel like the Bandit will die inside it. And then I won't have to worry about it. If I don't worry about the bandit, we're chilling. Actually, we just straight up take the tower, so the poison was obviously the right play then. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. This deck annihilates any type of Ram Rider or Hog Rider deck. Is this the real Helch? I don't think so. I can't really tell, and maybe it's his mini. Oh, yeah, it is, okay. It doesn't really matter, I hard countered him, so. There's nothing he can really do. I'm gonna go Bar Barrel here, we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna go for Musketeer in the back. And this guy is going to have a bar barrel on our bar barrel. And he's also going to end up having a mega minion. So we see mega minion, we see bar barrel. Definitely going to be some type of, I would assume, tank deck, right? We'll see though. Looking like a Lava Hound deck. Lava Hound Miner or just straight up Lava Hound? Don't really want to go for bar putt yet. Rather just going for bats. If he goes in for a baby dragon, then we should be still fine. And that's a lot of elixir if he does that. We go bar barrel how let's go bar putt yeah so i'm gonna go bar putt now still thinking that it's gonna be lava hound i would assume it's still lava hound right no he's gonna have ice golem and graveyard okay that's whack i saw guards i saw mega minion i saw all the proponents of a lava hound deck but it's interesting to see that this deck is not what i thought it was 
He catfished me, man, with his deck. This guy's crazy. What is this madness? At least the Barbara will get on top of that. And then he could go in for a tombstone. We'll see, though. I want that mosquito to die, and it's not going to die. But at least the real hogs are raining in the pain on him. So if he graveyards me, I could be in a bad situation. We'll see, though. I need to go in for bats on top of that musketeer. Pronto. He's going to go in for a poison. I really expected him to, man. All right, so I went too defensive, I feel. I dropped seven elixir there. Bar barrel on his bar barrel. What else do we want to do here? He's going to go mega minion, so he's spending a lot of elixir. If I go musky, she'll be able to kill that. She'll be able to provide a decent counter push. Okay, he's also going to go musky. wonder if his dies. It does, great. Means I can go poison on defense. Should be down a lot of elixir. The bats should still be alive. Yeah, the bats are just working well on the tank. That's one of the best things ever. Because if they poison, if you think that they're going to poison, just like getting a squishy unit on top of their tank so then your tower can retarget on top of their... Uh, on top of their skeletons is really nice if they're running a graveyard deck. Also, if they drop like a high musketeer like that, always really nice to uh, snipe it with a barb barrel if you can. He's keeping the musketeer alive, so he's playing this super well, by the way. Like, that's pretty impressive. He's still keeping it alive. Jeez, man. I'm gonna have to poison this. If he goes in for a graveyard, I'll still be fine. Don't think he poisons. If he does, I think it's an overcommitment. So, oh, he does. Okay. Well, I think I win now. I don't see any way that that works out for you, man. I think that the flying machine locks. Okay, he's gonna mega minion, so he spends a ton of elixir on defense. That's good as well, because then I can go for another bar barrel, and then he has to defend that. I don't have to defend that mega minion. So I can go musky. And then if he goes in for a graveyard, then I go just pile on aggression with Royal Hogs and Bats. And that's exactly what's happening. Because now he can't go in for a poison. Then I go Bar Barrel on defense. Royal Hogs get damaged. And then I can poison him out. GG, well played, and peace out. So that's another thing. When you see them go for the graveyard, make sure that they're not having enough elixir to poison. And if they do poison, they do lose the game. So I put them in a really bad situation.